Hi friends, welcome to Wispbusters. I'm Emma and today I'm going to show you how to create an input cell where a valid URL or website must be entered using Google Sheets, like this here. Before we begin to stay updated with new videos, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell to get notifications of the latest videos out. The first step to creating an input cell where a valid URL or website must be entered is to select the cells you want to allow all URLs as inputs. So let's select cells G2 to G1000. Let's click Data, Data Validation, a dialog box comes up and the first part is cell range and that has the range of cells we selected which were g2 to g1000 below this is criteria here is a drop down menu which has different options including list from a range list of items number text date custom formula is and tick box choose the option text then the dialog box changes and there is a drop down menu here which says contains does not contain equals is a valid email is a valid url choose the option is a valid url below this states on invalid data and there are two options show warning and reject input show warning means users can type in a value that is not from the drop down list and a red triangle of warning will appear at the top right corner of the cell and if you do not want users to enter any items other than a valid URL, you select Reject Input. You can check the box Show Validation Help Text to show instructions when users hover their cursor over the cell. And here is the default text for the instructions. You can change this text if you want to by inputting it here. Click Save. Let's scroll all the way up. And let's type a website name. So let's type whizbusters.com. If we hover, we see some information, we can click it and it takes us to the website. Perfect. Now let's put in cell G3. Let's type in another text. Let's say we wanted to type an email address instead. So we type this in, press enter. A dialog box pops up stating there was a problem. Enter a valid URL. So click OK. And this happened because we clicked reject input that this message came up. So this does not allow any invalid URL to be entered. Suppose we did not check the reject input option. So let's click cell G3, go to data, data validation, and choose show warning, click save. Let's just type in any text. So let's put quiz at bizbusters.com, press enter. Well, there is a warning that says input must be a valid URL. It has picked up that it's not a URL. It allowed you to input it, but it gave you a message. So therefore, if you want to guarantee only URLs, then you choose the reject input option. So data, data validation, and show reject input. There you go, my friends. That's how you create an input cell, which allows only valid URLs. And hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to get more videos like this and hit the bell to get notifications of the latest videos out. See you in the next video.